Hello everyone, Madison here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I will be talking to you guys about your practical driving test because I don't think I've done a video on your practical driving test. I know I've done, done one about theory but I thought now it would do, I would do it about practical. So I'll share my experience with my practical and what I wish I'd done in my practical. Um and share the best tips and tricks I know. So, let's get into the video. So, I took my practical driving test in September, so on the 25th of September 2023, um, at 8.25 in the morning. I I personally preferred to do it in the morning, because then, realistically, I could wake up literally have no time to think about it be on the roads and not be so anxious because i didn't have time to panic about it um so i do i would have thought personally i would have done better which I, like i took the test and i pass first time and um i'm quite privileged i'm able to work that way i know not many people are able to do what i done but like it's a sort of one of the great things in life that I appreciate that I have, if that makes any sense. Um, so for me, um, I've always I've been told to eat a banana before anything stressful because it reduces your anxiety. And I didn't have any anxiety about it anyway because I took it so early in the morning, but I ate a banana anyway just so then, you know, I was able to focus more and reduce my anxiety and stress. Um, it boosts something else, but I, I don't know what it is. I don't want to say what I think, because, again, that could be wrong. Um, but I know it reduces, like, sh your stress and anxiety levels. Because I, I, I have anxiety about stuff like that but it wasn't too my anxiety wasn't too bad because I had time to prepare myself I think I booked it in that June and I took it again took it in that September so I had loads of time to like sort of prepare myself and on the day as the days got closer I began stressing and worrying and then on the day because it was so early I had no time to stress about it I just woke up had a driving lesson first, went to the test centre, took my test, and look what's happened. Um, I definitely recommend it. I know some people don't do... Well, most of you don't do well with early mornings. And realistically, it's one early morning, and it would be so worth it. Um, and then... So I got nine minors on mine which I'm not too, I'm not happy, neither happy or unhappy about it, because I expected minors, but again, I weren't happy that, the fact that I got a lot, but I'm happy I got under, I think you can get 14 minors for one major, and when, if you get a major, then you've basically failed your test, um, but yeah, I'm quite happy I didn't get 14, I was only five off, but I'm quite happy where I was. And he, my examiner just told me, he was like, well, you passed, you got nine minors. And I looked at him and I was like, realistically, in my eyes, I passed. And that's good enough for me. And that's all I want. It, so, like, how I could tell I passed, um, I looked over... And they start writing out that blue certificate saying you pass. And he opened his book and started writing it. And I knew I passed before he even said. And honestly, the sigh of relief that le it didn't just leave my voice box. It didn't leave my mouth. It left literally my whole body. And honest honestly, it felt as if everything like every bit of stress 
and everything just left my body. Because uh, I say to my friends, like, jokingly, I was like, I said to them the other day, I was like, seven months since I had a driving lesson. And, like, it was a stupid comment, but it was funny at the same time because I only just clocked what happened. And even though it's been, what, seven, six or seven months, um, I think it would be eight months this month, um, I still sit behind the wh- steering wheel before I drive and I'm like, I can sit behind the steering wheel. Like, I still get moments which I'm like, God, I can drive. I'm legal. And it's still, it's sunk in, but at the same time, it, I'm kind of like, me, I can drive. I've been working a lot for this, and now it's, like, you know, happening. And so, yeah, it's just a big sigh of relief now that I pass. Um, I kind of... I kind of wish... Um, so, in my, my one of my minors was about my speed. I kind of wish... I thought about it as, like, a driving lesson because I know in a standard driving lesson my speed and everything like that weren't an issue. But it's just the test because even though I had no time to stress about it, because I had a different person in the car, I kind of, like, felt stressed because it was a different person in the car. And um, so I was obviously not... I didn't perform to what I could have done because again new person but I really shouldn't have let that affect me and um so when you get to the test center my I don't know if it happens to every examiner or if every examiner is as nice as mine because I I was privileged my examiner was as nice as he was um I can't remember his name for the life of me. And um, then he... So he addressed me as Miss Arnold. And then I walked in and handed in my provisional licence because that's his one thing you've got to definitely take. Your provisional and yourself. And um, then he'd ask me, he's like, oh, what name do you prefer to be called? Maddie, Mad or Madison. And I in that time I prefer to be called Madison. I prefer to be called Madison over Maddie anyway because Maddie's not my name and it's not something I've been brought up on for my whole life. Whereas Madison I've been brought up on that name. Either Mads or Madison I've been brought up on. Like two people my age I introduce myself as like again Madison or I say if it's easier, you can call me Mads. Or they just fall into the aspect of calling me Mads. Um, but anyway, back to the video. Um, so he addressed me as Madison. And in the test, it's 40... I want to say 40 minutes long. You have um, a couple of minutes on the show me, tell me questions. And then getting out the test centre on, on the main route. And doing all the, um, I think you have, so there's four things and you do two of these four things. So it's a bay park, pull over to the side of the road, emergency stop and parallel park. I had a bay park and a pull over to the left hand side of the road. Um, I was privileged in that aspect because I had the the two easiest ones, but my bay park was a reverse one. So even though it's not easy, I would have preferred a reverse bay park over a parallel park any day. Um, And we'd done like pulling over to the left side quite a few times. And that kind of brought the stress up because I was like, did I do it wrong? Um, but I tried, it's almost as if when you're doing it, you've got to exaggerate, like, looking in your mirrors, um, and 
checking your blind spots and all that. You've got to o- really over exaggerate all this, um, just to then show them that you do it. Um, and then we had twenty minutes sat nav drive, and we'd done that one first, and it was. It what made it easy. It was the fact that he was talking to me through it. He was like, can you still hear the sat-nav? So after the sat-nav, after this, not this junction, next junction, like on some of the confusing ones, um, when it's like, um, so some of the roads we went past, didn't the sat-nav didn't pick up because they were new roads. Um, so he just, that's what I mean by like confusing. Um but he was always checking with, with like, a, is this one easy to understand? Can you still hear the sat-nav? And I was so... I appreciate that so much because, like, that made me less nervous about sat-nav and the rest of the drive because I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But I was still nervous because it was someone new. Um, my show-me question was... How do you clean the windscreen? Windscreen. My tell me question was how to. How do you know if your brakes aren't working? And again, I'm privileged in that, and I appreciate the fact that I got two of the easiest questions. So to know your brakes aren't working, um, your brake pedal will be loose. Fun fact. Um, well, it's not fun. Yeah. Um, and you've got to learn be able to read a number plate 20 feet 20 20 either 20 feet or 20 meters i can't remember um away they could be the same thing i don't know um that wasn't too bad i so basically all the things i wanted done first we done first um which is quite good and then yeah, I I got lucky, I feel like. I never say, oh, yeah, well, I done extremely well. I didn't. I just got really lucky. And I appreciate the fact that I, not only myself, but my driving instructor, examiner, everyone who supported me, put so much effort into supporting me. And I... That's what made me get lucky is because I had a good group of friends around me, good family around me, good good vibes around me. And I feel like because everyone knew it was my test that day, everyone manifested the fact that I'd pass. And if I feel like I believe all this stuff. I believe that if they didn't manifest good vibes, I would have failed. But yeah um that's it that's it for today's video i hope whoever's taking their practical test soon i hope you pass um don't forget to eat your banana before your test and yeah that's it for today's video you guys know what to do like comment subscribe if you're new and i'll sure catch you later bye